April 23rd. We're here with Josh. Josh, what's his real last name? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was easy enough. Um, and we're gonna kill some turkeys. We killed one on Tuesday. It was a pretty awesome hunt, so. Yeah, how was that, Josh? Busy. Wanna just walk us through it real quick? Well, there's one gobbler that was gobbled basically a hundred times. Oh yeah, he gobbled his head off. And uh, we couldn't get him to cross the river, so we crossed over ourselves and then gunned. That's right, and we got him to come in and Josh slayed him at 12 yards. Showed the patience of someone far beyond his years. Because <laughs> the rest of us would have tried to shoot that thing at 40 yards. That's right. When he was gobbling and strutting in front of us for a half hour. So we're going to do it again today, Josh? Yeah. Alright, let's get out there and do this. Nice shot, nice shot, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe we pulled this off. This is one of the craziest, another crazy hunt with Josh. So, I'm starting to like the kid because he puts me <laughs> through the ringer. So, He's a killer. <laughs> so we get in here, we had to walk up this big hill and uh, we heard a bird gobble because Trev did the owl hooter. And we get up to the top of the hill and, and they gobble again. I thought they were on the ground and uh, we weren't sure. So we're starting to get set up and I, I hear them coming. I thought I heard them coming. And uh, sure enough, they were coming because as soon as I get one decoy in the ground, I see one of them pop his head over the hill. So I duck behind the decoy while well, Josh and Trev were uh, not set up yet. So I was like, oh man, we're gonna blow this. But uh, the turkey could not help the calling between me and Trev, sounding like two birds. So eventually one of these birds came in and. And you guys can tell me because I couldn't see it because I was hiding behind the decoy the whole time. So what ended up happening, Josh? They hung out down here and they kept going back and forth, back and forth, and we thought they were going to come and then they stay. We hit, we hit a couple of, uh, of good cuts and they just, they couldn't resist it. The three of them just came right up and, and they came over right, right to our left hand side and Josh lined up the bead and knocked them down. Dropped them. What are you feeling right now, man? How does it feel to have two birds down, two hunts? <laughs> I feel really lucky. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not every day that you get two birds. No, no it's not. <laughs> no. Not for sure. So, I mean, we're Trev and I are really, really blessed to be out here uh, sharing this experience with Josh. And, um, you know, it's an honor for us. So we're glad that we could make it happen even in a tough situation. So, I mean, it's uh, something to remember that just because you got busted doesn't mean you can't still kill a bird because one of those birds definitely saw me, but we still got it done. So right. just keep at it. And I do have one question for you, Josh. What drives you outdoors? <laughs> Pretty much I thought that everything can be possible outdoors and it's not always good to be inside even during these times. That's right. I'm with it, man. Yep. Amen on that one. We kind of missed our social distancing, but. That's all right. It's all right, we're young and healthy. That's it. And <laughs> we got a bird down. Well, let's go see if we can get another one. We got all some right. daylight. Congratulations, yeah. man. Congratulations. Josh, again, awesome. All right, so we're back with number two, huh? Number two. We got that nice uh, Jake this morning and 
you decided that we do it again and we got on a second bird what you want to tell the people what what kind of what happened well he was coming from our left and he tried going up the log that we were, we were leaning on and uh, you so so what ended up happening was he was coming in and there was actually a big tom we were on the phone with seth seth was off trying to do some back calling and there was a tom that ended up coming by us big tom big mature tom he must have saw something he didn't like or he just kind of moved off and uh i hit again and i seen uh another redhead uh off in the distance and i said josh here get ready here he, he's coming this way watch out here he comes and um hit the call one more time and he was in our lap at that point he was to our complete left and uh, he was standing there about 12 yards and Josh let him have it again and dropped him right down as you can see on the film so how you feeling amazing <laughs> it was a crazy Pumped day huh? yeah. <laughs> we got you out here running around killing turkeys well that's number three for you huh yeah for youth season so three in what three days or it's three and two days yeah two days two days of hunting and three birds on the ground so well congratulations buddy nice nope, job good job and i was off relieving myself <laughs> while they were killing birds <laughs> so. i'm glad they came in they came in silent weren't making no noise so we got yeah. it done yeah. awesome let's get up and get these things cleaned up huh? What's the day?